Yo, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Dre here, and I'm here today to do a trailer reaction for Thor Love and Thunder. Apparently it's the final trailer. Uh, it's titled Team. So I'm going to check it out, give you guys my reaction, my thoughts, and uh, yeah, let's do it. There's a maniac who seeks to end us all. And putting together the greatest team ever. Are you packed? Were those Celestials? Where's my ex girlfriend Jay? Valkyrie? This is the best day of my life! The Guardians. Bang oh. good! And giant guns! <laughs> Look at those! They are wonderful! Yes, they are. They also scream quite a lot. <laughs> Be a relaxing holiday. Damn. I said it was going to be like a relaxing holiday. <laughs> Human handshake to the Asgardian shake into the snake that you cannot trust. We're really dragging this up and finish the classic Asgardian high one. Hmm. Uh, not bad for a final trailer. They didn't really show too much like Doctor Strange did. My God, they showed everything in the, in, within those trailers. Uh, but for these, I mean, this ain't this ain't bad. Uh, the Celestials, that's. Oh. But seeing the uh, Celestials in that one scene. Let me make sure that was them. Yeah, I think that's them. Huh. Um. Looks like he's creating his Revengers 2.0 uh, squad. The fact that he mentioned Guardians. So that makes me think that, okay, they're not just going to be in it for at the beginning of this movie, but also maybe um, for the final battle or, yeah, for the final battle and towards the end as well. Um, don't know how I feel about that. It's just because of one thing I'm I'm really concerned about is the runtime. I've heard that it has the lowest runtime out of all of uh, Phase Four MCU. I think it's only like an hour fifty, hour fifty nine, something something in that range. Um, so I just feel like you know, will that be enough when you have the Guardians? When you have Jane, you're you're gonna have to tell a little a little bit of Jane's story and exactly how she got the power. Unless they're doing that for a damn separate Jane Lady Thor series. But you're going to have to explain that. You have Kord, Valkyrie, New Asgard. Um, Mount, uh, I don't know if this is Mount Olympus. Uh, I, I don't know if this is Mount Olympus. Or, um, you know, Olympus, what this place is. But you have the god. You have Thor, uh, Gore the God Butcher. You're going to have to introduce him. Um, and plus, there's there's been a lot of jokes going around in these trailers and and uh, you know that's how Thor Ragnarok Thor Ragnarok was god man I'm losing the ability to talk ah, that should be better but uh in Thor Ragnarok there was a lot of uh humor as well so I don't know if maybe when you when you have a character like Gore the god butcher how is that going to fit especially with all the humor cuz he's you know he's called the God Butcher. You know I'm I'm expecting him to murk a couple gods in this movie and and be you know like have this very um, scary presence on screen. So how will that work? How would it all balance out? That's something that I'm curious about. But still, it's fun. It looks like it's gonna be funny at least. So I will say that. Um, but not bad, not bad. You know, I'm still, I'm still hyped for it. We'll see. But uh, what did you guys think of Thor: Love and Thunder, the team trailer? Let me know down below in the uh, comments section. And if you enjoyed this reaction, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm DeAndre, and this is Dre and Jay. Deuces.